In this video, we review and react to One Piece manga chapters 1006 and 1007. So, let's get right into it. Before anything else, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Let's dive right in and review One Piece manga chapter 1006. I really love the cover photo of chapter 1006. We see Blackbeard's crew, all of the major players, Drake, Sasaki, Who's Who, Ulti, Page One, Black Maria, and the three All-Stars. I think that this is very close to being perfect. I would just change the color scheme of Who's Who. I really don't think that the, the red color for the helmet is appealing. For me, I would just stick with color yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, right? Well, simply because, or maybe orange, simply because he's a saber-toothed tiger. So I think it would make more sense if he was color yellow or orange, right? But anyway, that's just me. Side note, I'm really having a thing for, for Black Maria. She looks perfect. No. Let's go straight into the chapter and we see here that Yamato and Shinobu are breaking through the lines of all of the well, beast pirates that were chasing after them. And I was actually thinking that Momonosuke would have been in front rather than Yamato picking, piggybacking him. So that's quite weird. But it is what it is. Uh, I, to me... I think this is just perfect that both Yamato and Shinobu are just going straight through because taking a uh, side um, smaller ru routes or hidden routes is very unlikely. I don't think that's going to be possible especially considering that the whole castle with all of the, the um, information network that the Beast Pirates have with those mechanical uh, animals or things that provide information basically that's their security cameras right and all of those are moving so I really don't think that Shinobu's idea of going for a much less visible route would be possible so I'm really all for this move by Yamato uh, just barging straight through hello there anyway the reports come in and it's been broad broadcasted all around the island that Yamato and Shinobu are breaking through the lines. Sanji was able to hear the broadcast and is confused by who Yamato is or was. And he's now left with the choice, right? Go to Yamato or go to Kinemon's group. Personally, I would go to Yamato's aid. If I if it was me, if I was Oda, I would make Sanji go to to Yamato and Shinobu. I think he would be more needed there, but with the threat of Jack going into the storeroom where the 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 scabbards are recuperating or being treated, well, I think it's a toss up, right? Personally, I would like Sanji to go to Yamato and Shinobu's side. I think that's going to be a much more useful move for Sanji. Skipping to the next page, we see that Perospero actually defeated Carrot and Wanda. Unfortunately, Perospero is right. Having an ability that gives a situational power-up where the full moon has to be in effect or has to be visible to Carrot and Wanda or to the Minx is a bit troublesome because it might not be as reliable as it should be, right? So I'm not sure or we are not sure if Carrot and Wanda were able to transform into Minx before, before uh, this whole eclipse of the moon thing happened, right? And Perospero proceeds to really shame 
Carrot for what she was trying to do, which is beat him, right? And I really did see that this is a part of Perospero's behavior. It's really expected of him. But I can't believe that Carrot and Wanda would just be defeated like that. So I'm sure that Oda is planning something big for both of these two. And I'm really expecting them both later on in the story to make a huge impact. Now, in the in inside the dome in the activity hall, we see the samurai and the other rebels as well as Hyogoro, Drake and uh, the beast pirate members all being infected but with the ice demon. Well, Drake doesn't seem to be infected by by the virus, but everybody else is slowly being infected by it, right? So this is me being made to look as if it's the most dire situation out of everything that's happening throughout the island as of this point. And it's and this is basically Oda's formula, right? We get introduced to the story in, in a particular uh, country or island, and then we we see the conflict for 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 what? What the fuck? We get introduced to the conflict, and you get a bit of ups and downs when the fighting begins. Then he tries to make the 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 protagonists look like the the undisputed underdogs the few chapters before the climax we see hope for everybody there and then luffy typically gets left out and is still usually the underdog in that particular battle until he finally beats or or gets to another level and beats the the main antagonist for the particular chapter or the particular arc that's Oda's basic formula. So here, we're being introduced to the, the, the biggest problem in the activity hall, which is the ice demons. Just as the beast pirates were trying to get the antidote from Chopper, Drake and Hyogoro were protecting him from, from all of the would-be uh, attackers. Which is quite awesome to see. I'm really looking forward to seeing this in the anime. I think that Hyogoro is designed quite well. Drake is just plain awesome in my opinion. That's why Hyogoro is really making this pop out in my eyes. And we see on the next page that the Oniwa Banshu as well as the Samurai Squad of Orochi were planning to take on Hyogoro. Hyogoro is a very self-sacrificing uh, Yakuza boss, which is not the idea that I had in my head of how a Yakuza boss should be. But we've seen his character way back in uh, the prison in Udon. So this is well within character uh, uh, for for Hyogoro. And unfortunately for the Samurai Squad, as well as the Oniwa Banshu, they were easily defeated by a very old Hyogoro with his awesome flaming hair of Holy Rage technique. I was almost expecting him to combat Flower Sword Vista because his name is Hyogoro of the Flowers. And besides the, the tattoos and the design on his um, kimono, or whatever the robe is called, I don't understand why he's called Hyogoro of the Flowers. I mean, really, if you think about it, I really was expecting him to be someone like Vista, right? Every time he slashes, he would make a flower bloom. Also, the most disappointing part about this this panel is that I was having my expectations from Hote of the Samurai Squad, the dude in eyeglasses or sunglasses rather. 
I was thinking that because he was under Denjiro, he would put up more of a fight and he would be around Chopper or Brook level. I really was expecting Chopper or Brook to be the ones dealing with Hote actually. So this is really surprising for me and disappointing at the same time. Aww. But on a better note, Hyogoro is too badass and we're seeing the full extent of his abilities even though he's very very old. So I'm almost seeing Whitebeard from him. Nope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he's not as strong as Whitebeard, but for this particular panel, I in my eyes he is, right? He's just as cool. Nope. <laughs> With all of the feats that Yogoro was was showing us, Queen decided to take matters into his own hands and was trying to stop Yogoro. But Marco stops him instead. And I've been really looking forward to Marco showing us more of what he could do. And I'm really enjoying myself for the past few chapters that Marco has been basically the glue that holds everything together for for the rebellion in my well at least in the activity hall right he's been doing so much work against the beast pirates the all-stars in particular and and this is basically the first time we're seeing marco being injured by either queen or or or, or king and we see that his whole left wing was cut off by 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 king and i was expecting that marco would be just shrugging it off and regenerating his wing like it was nothing but instead we see that he could make a projectile attack right a long range attack and queen wasn't expecting it and this left him open for a very strong kick or a knee by Marco. So Marco versus two of these all-stars is really phenomenal. I'm almost expecting Marco to be Yonko level as of this point. But I'm pretty sure that Oda would be highlighting King's abilities later on in the story. Hopefully it's going to be against Zoro instead of just Marco. But I'll take what I can get. Oh, so in this next page, he was actually commenting that, yeah, two guys over a billion is pretty rough. And yes, Marco is really exceeding my expectations of him. I really didn't expect him to hold both king and queen off. I was thinking that Drake might be the one that would be taking care of Queen. It's over 9,000! Not that he could, Nope. but he might have been um, able to slow Queen down. I just really think that Drake is Yonko Commander level and that he just didn't want to get promoted to that sort of uh, rank. Well, that's just my opinion. But anyway, we see that Perospero is already in the, the activity hall and he's already seeing where Marco is, which is making me very excited for the upcoming chapter. Uh, I, I do hope that we see Marco um, hold off three guys, uh, three Yonko Commander level characters, him being a Yonko Commander level character himself. But I doubt that would happen. Hopefully it does, even just for a little bit. I think that would be exciting. Also, I'm just noticing now that he wasn't able to regenerate his left wing. So I'm not sure that Marco is going to be able to do that anytime soon. Maybe his ability has its own limits. I'm looking forward to knowing more about it. And to end the chapter off 
we see that Hyogoro's subordinates were having a lot of trouble or struggling with the having to kill their beloved boss, right? But we are seeing that Hyogoro being the self-sacrificing person that he is, is totally okay with his subordinates doing ending his life this way. Before we go to chapter 1007, personally, I don't believe that Hyogoro would be dying. I might be wrong, but I, I do think that Hyogoro would be surviving this whole war. This ends the review for chapter 1006. So, comment down below what you think about the chapter. Where do you think the story is going? Like the video and subscribe to the channel because it's free, right? As always, stay safe. Peace.